Throughout Star Wars stories, fans have seen a variety of weapons unique to a galaxy far, far away. One of the more common and most popular weapons of choice by characters is the blaster, which fires a bolt of energy at the directed target. Whether it be bounty hunters, scoundrels, clones, or sometimes even Jedi, we've seen many different uses of a blaster throughout the timeline. But how come some blasters fire blue, while others red, and others green? There have been a multitude of different colored blaster bolts, and like nearly every other aspect of Star Wars canon, there's an explanation. While lightsaber colors are based more on the individual wielding the weapon, the kyber crystal attuning to its specific wielder, the different colored bolts that emerge from a blaster have a much more scientific explanation. The reason involves the gases used in blasters to provide the deadly bolt. The quality of gas, or specific modifications, will dictate why the blaster fires a certain color from its barrel. The blasters, which could come in a variety of shapes and sizes, converted energy-rich gas to a glowing particle beam that could pierce and melt through targets. They could also deliver variable levels of damage intensity, from stun to kill settings. The most common color of blaster bolt was red, which was made from cheaper gas. This has been seen used by the Confederacy of Independent Systems, so mainly the battle droids during the Clone Wars. The Rebel Alliance, which makes sense due to limited funds and resources, so they were willing to work with whatever they could get their hands on, the Galactic Empire, and the First Order. While cheaper, these blasts are still effective and can do considerable damage to enemies. Blue, on the other hand, was an ionized type of blaster bolt that specialized in disabling machinery such as droids. These bolts were primarily used in the Clone Wars by the Galactic Republic and its clone forces, which makes sense due to the opposition being primarily battle droids. However, they could also be effective against organic beatings, as seen when the clones turn on their Jedi generals during Order 66 and the subsequent Jedi Purge. These could also be seen used by the Resistance later on. While red and blue are easily the most common colors seen throughout Star Wars canon, there are still multiple, lesser-known colors that rarely appear. Green is the most expensive and powerful type of blaster gas available, which has been mainly used by Naboo security forces, the Umbarans, as well as the Starfighter Corps of the Galactic Empire. Although the Empire was willing to be cheap, with their mass enlisted army of blank-faced stormtroopers, they still gave their fighter ships the best available. Yellow blaster bolts have been seen used by Mandalorians, although there has been nothing official about separating this color from any of the others. Since it's only been used by Mandalorians, a race known for its warrior tendencies, I would expect that the yellow bolt is more powerful compared to that of the common red, and its unique color may have something to do with a resource found exclusively in that star system. Purple was used by the Geonosian starfighters, the Malevolence, a superweapon created by the Separatists, and most notably the Magna Guards. Purple was also used by the Techno Union Octoptara Tridroid variants on this planet Skako Minor. Just like with the yellow, there's nothing official regarding what makes this color distinct or unique. And lastly, orange and cyan were unique in their purpose as training colors. They were meant to be lower power and used for training purposes, meaning that they could be fired at a person without causing serious damage. Orange was used by the Marksman Age training remote and training droids on Kamino and Cyan was used by clone cadets in their training sessions on Kamino. One of the most recurring questions I had growing up was why the colors of blaster bolts were always different, and why sometimes the bad guys had green while the good guys had red. It always seemed off. While this isn't exactly the reason, and is more of a way to explain it after the fact, that is the main reason for me looking into this and wanting to make a video. It's a small, mostly meaningless aspect of Star Wars lore, but still something so often overlooked and ignored. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more lore breakdowns. As always, thank you all for watching. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always.